Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography and today I'm going to show you how to use our Ultimate Sparkler Pack. I first want to go over what's included really quick for y'all. Um, we have 18 sparkler topper overlays, which are really fun. Um, if you had a sparkler image that just didn't turn out as cool as you thought they would be, um, these are there to help you out. So there's 18 of those. You can see them over on the website. And then we have the Storyville Sparkler Brushes. They're letters and numbers and symbols. Really, really cool. I will also go over those um, in this tutorial. And then we have seven sparkler um, connectors, which help just connecting the words um, to your sparkler brush if you don't already have like a flame or a spark going. And then we have two sparkler sticks, um, sparkler blasters, which are just another alternative to the sparkler toppers. Um, wow, I'm saying that word a lot, but that's what it's all about. And then we have some sparkler bonus overlays, which are fun to play with as well. So the first thing I want to do is come over to the sparkler stick, and you can just drag and drop, or you can go um, into your Photoshop file, open, and then search for what you want. So I'm just going to grab the sparkler stick normal, drag it over, and as you can see, she has nothing in her hand right now, so I'm just going to kind of add that in. And you can resize it um, if you didn't drag and drop by just using the free transformation. I'm going to pull that right into her hand there. And then just click over here. And I'm going to add a layer mask. Use a soft black brush at 100% opacity and just kind of mask off where it's overlapping her, um, her hand there. Because you don't want the stick. Oops, we're not on black. There we go. Make sure that's black at 100%. So that is the before and after. And then I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to go to the sparkler toppers and I'm just going to grab the first one and drag it and drop it. Oops. And then to get rid of the black background, guys, all you have to do is go into your blending mode and select screen and it will disappear and you can just drag and drop the sparkler wherever you would like. You can also stack these if you want and change opacity and um, adjust the color. If you want to adjust the color, all you need to do is come into your adjustments, grab a hue and saturation adjustment, click the little downward arrow because, so it only affects the sparkler, and just kind of slide along to um, a color that you like. For this, I'm just going to leave it as is. I think it's a pretty color. And that is the example of just the sparkler. So I'm going to remove that. And now I will show you an example of the sparkler blaster. We'll just go ahead and go with the first one again. Drag and drop. Screen mode. And then just resize it and move it to where you'd like. And voila! Easy peasy, huh guys? That's the before and after there go ahead and remove that. And now for like the bonus overlays, what I like to do is I'll first come into the sparkler um, connectors and I also like to use these for the words too. Um, as you can see there's seven different ones and I'm just going to grab let's say seven, drag it over, select screen, and I'm just going to kind of put this on the top so it looks like it has um, a flame coming out of there before and after. And now when I drag over one of the bonus overlays, let's go with four, screen mode, it will look like it's actually coming out of um, the sparkler instead of just like, let me show you. If the connector wasn't there, it would look kind of funky. Um, not all of them will need it, but in a lot of cases, I enjoy um, adding that there. Okay, I'm going to delete that now. And I'll just show you one more of the bonus. We'll just go with nine over here. And then again, screen mode. And just drag it to where you'd like it and resize it. A lot of fun, and there's so many different possibilities. And say you wanted to kind of double up on that. All you need to do is hit Command J to duplicate, Command T to move it. If you want to like have like a double look, or you know you can triple it, you can quadruple it. How many times you want? 
um, just to where you like it. Because, you know, some sparklers, you when you do the long exposures, you have, like, multiple rings of things. So it's really just personal preference. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these now. And the last thing I want to show you guys is how to do the letter and number brushes. And there's also symbol brushes too. Lots of fun. So once you load them, they'll come in this little pack. I like to kind of stretch it out a little so it's easier to make this quicker. I was going to do phrases for you guys, but I thought, hey, let's let them create their own because names and numbers and dates and all that are really just limitless. And I didn't want to like put a limit on what you wanted. So I'm going to just, we'll go with um, the word happy. So I'm going to select the H. And then I want to get like a yellowish color for this. Um, you know, any color will do. It's really your personal preference, but I want it kind of like, you know, sparkly-ish <laughs> for the sparkles. Um, anyway, I'm going to grab another layer mask, a new layer mask. And I have these pretty big guys because I wanted the quality um, very good for you guys and it's easy to size them down. So I'm just going to go ahead and H. A. And also, like I um, showed you with the heart, if you want kind of that like really sparkle-ish look, sparkle feel, um, you can just double up on some of these and it will give you that effect. Okay. I like to expand or um, shrink them down using the bracket keys. The uh, right bracket key makes your brush bigger and the left makes it smaller. And then let's find our Y. There we go. And then, um, you know, there's the number brushes too. And then if you want to move this to where it's really attached to the sparkler, just hit Command T. And because it's on a new layer, it's only going to transfer your, um, your words there. And you can resize it if you want it smaller or bigger. And then if you want your sparklers to grow a little bit, I'll show you a trick. Just double click on your layer. And then I like to go to the outer glow and I have my screen mode at or blend mode at screen. I have this yellow color chosen. You can play around with your settings to your preference. But as you can see, that kind of made it sparkle just a little bit more. You can turn it on and off. Um, and that's about it. Also, you don't have to attach the words to the sparkler. I think they look great even on their own. So like if you're announcing like an engagement date or like a birthday or whatever, a graduation, you could just, you know, let's turn that off. I'll just show you an example quickly. <laughs> Say we wanted to just do a date. So we're going to go with the two. zero two <laughs> one and that looks great on its own so because it's on the new layer you can control the sizing of it or where you'd like it um, so say we wanted to do the 2021 and then come into the bonus overlays and just grab another um, fun sparkler overlay. Oops, color dodge. I guess that would have looked okay too. I'm going to go with screen though. And there you go. You have her in a happy little circle with the date. Um, just options are endless, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. You can find this new Ultimate Sparkler Pack at www.storyblephotography.com. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.